It was 1944 on a distant French battlefield. Nazi German tanks were making their way to destroy an American position. Suddenly comes a roaring sound of a diving down aircraft. To their surprise, it was an L4 Grasshopper. An air spotter aircraft used by the army artillery intensively during the World War 2. Just before reaching 100 meters to the ground and being a smoky crater, it, lo- it launched two M1 even bazookas. Both of them pierced the armor of the Panzer tanks, knocking them out of commission. He was Major Charles Carpenter. Just 2 years earlier, he was a high school history teacher. When the war began, he quickly enrolled for it. and thanks to his qualifications he was chosen to be a pilot with the rank of a second lieutenant he was trained to be an air spotter for army artillery he was not a type of man who was frightened by the enemies and he was soon bored by his job but on one fine day he got an idea he attached two bazooka tubes to his plane and went ahead to experiment this without any fear in his mind He dived down to an armor car and fired at will. Carpenter was so accurate that he nailed those bazookas right on to the top without any aiming method. After his success, he was thrilled and now he was hunting for German Panzer tanks, the best in class. Soon after, his aircraft was named Rosie the Rocketeer and he became the mad major. He destroyed 18 German tanks, but his unofficial record is much much higher soon his bazookas grew from 2 to 6 and whenever he was not satisfied by his performance he used to land his aircraft nearby and pick up a discarded german rifle and take men as prisoners still carpenter's greatest deed was yet to come it was now late 1944 the massive formation of german tanks were making their way to a unit's headquarters Mad Major immediately took to the air with six bazookas loaded onto its wing. He was ready to dive down and save the American position, but there was ground fog and it prevented him from diving down. As soon as the fog cleared, he dived down and fired the bazookas over the tanks. They pierced the armor and gave Americans the time to retreat. By this act of bravery, he prevented many americans from becoming prisoners of war carpenter would go on fighting throughout the war killing several german tanks thanks to the very light construction of the l4 grasshopper it could take much damage but soon after but soon after he fell seriously ill it was discovered that he had hodgkins disease and then he effectively ended his participation in the war he came back to the high school where he teached history and there he remained until his death in 1966 to cancer this was the whole story i hope you liked it if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and don't and don't forget to comment down below because youtube's algorithm likes it and pushes it to more people thank you very much